mistake. We helped the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need something. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine.
soap? Washing the light? Who? You know. Oh. She was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you... That's... good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? You've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and, uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Anything you need, young sir. You don't have to run off on my account.
Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Well, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Don Vari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. I need that alchemist for some. doing up for you if he
You're smart, you'll find him. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. All fine? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Brock. Fuck else you need. How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me, and he likewise. Only thing to do was put the brand 50-50 down the middle. I guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Say, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain, sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> Hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual complimented dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. But so. You're winning smiles, armor enough, but why take chances? What it'll it be, Shorty? What next? Best of luck with all the rampaging. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. We could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully.
books. Do you think that Fafnir went to Alfheim too? I do not know. Aren't you curious? He sounds interesting. We go to the storeroom to collect anything useful for our journey. Not to learn more about the dwarf. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right. But you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. What? Well, it's your neck. Reavers. Uh-oh. It must have gotten here first. 